Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Yogesh, Clinical Director and Consultant at Kushik Fertility and IVF Center, Bangalore. I am here to share with all of you about the science of infertility and also to share about how one feels when they go through an IVF and one should know about the things and facts and fictions about IVF. A woman, when she starts trying for pregnancy without using any contraception, she can wait for 12 months. After 12 menstrual cycles, despite trying on the fertile days, if she doesn't get pregnant, then she should start worrying. Apart from that, if a woman has shorter cycles, that shows that her ovarian reserve might be falling. There are women who don't get cycles until and unless they take some medications to get periods. This is very common in women who have something which we call it as polycystic ovaries. These women don't ovulate regularly and that's the reason why they don't get periods regularly. Sometimes they have to get, uh, take some tablets to get periods or just wait for 3 or 4 months to get periods. And most of these cycles that happen after 3 or 4 months are anovulatory cycles without ovulation. It all goes to say that without ovulation a woman cannot conceive and that is the reason why she has to approach doctors to ensure that she has an ovulation and also a real trial for pregnancy. Of course when women get married in the first few months when they start having contact with their partners sexually they do experience some discomfort but if this discomfort goes on for a longer period of time and she experiences Pain, it is alarming. It could be pointing towards a condition called endometriosis, which makes pregnancy not a real easy task. Endometriosis needs to be addressed as early as possible, and these are the women who would need an IVF as soon as possible. So, pain during periods, pain during sexual intercourse are things that have to be addressed as early as possible. Some women either lose weight drastically or gain weight drastically. Drastic weight gain could be a pointer towards increased resistance towards a hormone called insulin and it could be a progressive condition of polycystic ovaries. Drastic weight loss can also be because of uncontrolled sugars in women who develop diabetes either with relation to their age or because of genetic conditions. The most important endocrine gland that plays a very important role for menstrual regularity and for conception is the thyroid gland. A lot of women also have antibodies against the thyroid gland. They are called autoantibodies, that is having enemies against one's own cells. So these autoantibodies can prevent the thyroid from functioning well. And because of that, the thyroid would not function well, we should, will not be able to produce enough of thyroid hormone and that also can result in difficulty in conceiving because there is a very strong correlation between the thyroid and the adrenal function. We also see that genital tuberculosis is very very common in Indian population. And because of genital tuberculosis, there is a burnt out effect of non-functional fallopian tubes and the tubal factor is a very very important aspect where women have their uterus and their ovaries functioning fine but because of the fallopian tube not working well, they cannot conceive naturally and they have to resort to an IVF. So when there is a family history of tuberculosis, when there is a history of tuberculosis in childhood, one should remember that they get their fallopian tubes tested to ensure that they are patent and functional enough to get pregnant. The first and foremost thing is be confident, be patient, believe in yourself and trust in the doctor who is treating you, trust in the IVF center where you are taking the IVF treatment and also have a lot and lot of positive energy filled within you. The positive energy usually comes up with telling yourself on a daily basis, yes, everything will go on well. I am all set to get pregnant. Along with that, never listen to what people say about IVF. Never listen to what people tell about you. There could be somebody pointing towards you and telling, you are overweight, so your chances for conception are less. 
somebody telling you you're underweight and so you may not conceive and people at home telling that you've gone through an IVF before you haven't are you sure you will now never listen to negative people surround yourself with people who talk positive and tell yourself that yes things will definitely go on fine this is very very important when you go through an IVF cycle when they go through an IVF they should be able to put this into the minds of the youngsters in the family that it is not that they are incapable of having a child so that the, they don't feel inferior to other couples in the same family. When a couple in the family goes to an IVF, the grandparents at home should be able to understand that they have a con problem in conceiving naturally and that is the reason why they are taking medical aid. They should definitely imbibe the fact into their minds that the IVF babies are just like any other normal baby they should not be differentiating between grandchildren just because they have one which is born through IVF it is never an artificial method it is a natural method is what they have to understand and when their family younger generation thinks about stepping into IVF they should in fact be supportive and make sure they understand that they give emotional support as that's the most important one that's required during that aspect of their life. And when they go through an IPF, they should be able to put this into the minds of the youngsters in the family that it is not that they're incapable of having a child so that the, they don't feel inferior to other couples in the same family. They should also be able to understand that when they go through an IPF, it is this egg of the woman and this sperm of the man that is used for an IVF until and unless conditions happen in such a way that either of them don't have their own gametes. They should be able to confide important matters to themselves and not discuss with other family members when it comes to very intricate details about the IVF treatment. They should also ensure that they never speak about the cost incurred in an IVF cycle to their sons or daughters when they are going through the IVF treatment because this is one additional strain that makes them feel all the more guilty about the fact that they have not been able to conceive naturally. During the IVF journey, despite the support from the doctor, the family and friends, most important thing is support from the life partner that is a husband. The husband should always be there next to her to tell her that the most important thing for him is not just her getting pregnant but it's important that she realizes that the lady that is she is more important to him than just having a child. My message to couples trying to conceive never hesitate to see us never step back when you want to visit an infertility center. We are all here to join shoulders and join you holding hands in this fertility journey to ensure you reach the ultimate destination of parenthood and join with you to smile when you see those two pink lines of happiness and ultimate victory.